last episode, we took on Marseille and we lost 3-1, knocking us out of the Europa uh, League at the first knockout phase. Then we took on Partick and we won 3-0 in the Scottish Cup fifth round replay before taking on Rangers in the quarterfinal and we lost 2-0. Uh, since I've been gone, there's a whole host of fixtures gone on. Uh, we lost one of them. Uh, but let me just run down them here. We drew 2-2 in the Edinburgh Derby against Hearts. Then we won against Aberdeen 1-0 before beating St. Johnston 3-2. Losing to Celtic at Easter Road 4-2. Beating Dundee at Easter Road 4-2. And right hot for the press, we beat Hamilton 1-0 at their place. So, the league has now split into two with the Championship Group and the uh, Not-So-Championship Group. So, in this episode, we will take on Rangers at Easter Road before we take on Hearts in the last Edinburgh Derby of the season at Easter Road before wrapping it up with the final match of the season against Dundee at their place. Edinburgh, home of royalty, culture, and tradition. It's also home of two classic Scottish clubs, but there's only room for one of them. Welcome to the pride of Edinburgh. Celtic already confirmed as champions. Uh, we've been uh, subject to a takeover, which has gone through. So our finances have been given a big of a bit of a boost. Um, and we are competing with Rangers for that coveted second spot in the Premiership. It will be a much needed boost on us. We finished third last season. Uh, realistically, it looks like we're going to finish either second or third this season. Apparently, we're one win away from guaranteeing Europa League. But I thought we'd already got Europa League through the through the, the League Cup that we won earlier in the season. But anyway, I love it to finish above Rangers. And right here, right now, we take them on at East Road. So my starting level for this match looks like this. Glover in goal, Lazaroni, Hannon, Ambrose, Georgian, McGinn, Adam, Tillman, Windus, Murray and Fez. Uh, we beat them once already this season. Uh, we did lose our last encounter, which was in the Scottish Cup. But let's hope we got our shooting boots on and uh, get a result of them today. So our visitor is going with a 4-2-3-1. Very, very attacking looking like. So our visitor is going with a 4-2-3-1. Looks very attacking. Let's go. Rangers get the match underway. A point would suit us to the ground, I think. I don't think it would suit Rangers to the ground. If a win would put them on top of us uh, with the superior goal difference. So that's why I'd like to at least not lose. And they are already pushing us to the limits. I think we both have to take on Celtic, so that's probably a loss apiece. But I think Rangers are more inclined to possibly get a result against Celtic. We've, we've um, again, not had the greatest results against Celtic. And we have beaten them once. We've drawn a couple of times, but um, yeah. Anyway, Murray. So I'm trying to get Fares. Tillman turns. Winder shoots up against his former club. That's the way to do it, boys. I think the last time we took them on at, well, I don't know, in the league, we were pretty, we were pretty dominant. But you know, I don't know if that was just a bad day at the office for Rangers and a good day for us. But I'd love it if this was to stay the same. Tillman Murray gets ahead of him, fordering him, puts it behind. Corner Adam floats it in, comes to Murray again. Again ends up in Fordering's arms, and he will boot this clear towards Herrera. O'Hanlon oh, crosses in there, Herrera's in there, and it's 1-1. That lead didn't last that long. Fodderingham boots it again. Cardoso sets up Candias. Hustled and bustled, Rossiter back to Jack. Rossiter, Herrera turns and shoots over the top. Celtic really in a league of their own this season. Georgian, McGinn, Murray, Fez. That shot was wide. Foddering will boot the goal kick. Can we get control of it? No. Here comes Herrera. Clear by Ambrose to Fez. To Murray. Sets a beautiful little cheeky little pass. But his shot was straight at the keeper's arms. Adam. Tillman. Oh, off the top of the bar. Fodderingham will then collects and he will boot this clear. Hanlon, Ambrose, back to Glover. Candias, Herrera, Jack, Lazzaroni, back to Glover. Boots it long, but here come Rangers again. Two men up front. But his shot is up against the bar and Hibbs can clear with Tillman. He loses it. Here come Rangers, though. 
They, lo they lose control of the ball. Back to Hibbs now. Adam Winders fares Murray again straight at Fodderings' arms. Maybe put it in the corner. Put a bit of an angle on it. Free kick for Fez. Ooh, tipped over the bar by Fodderingham. Adam will take this corner. Out wide to Murray. Fez loses it. Rossiter now just cleans it out for Rangers. We're each in closer to the 45. But Rangers looking for another attack. Rossiter. Pina. Rossiter. Jack. Rossiter. Herrera. Hustled and bustled. It's put out for a goal kick. It could be the last bit of possession of the half. But it's not. Georgian. Adam. Murray. Fez. Oh, that's a good snapshot. It'll be a corner for Hibbs. Right at the death. Adam. Murray with a beautiful strike. I think Amber has got a nick on it. And they get a lead right at the halftime whistle. That is a perfect time to score a goal. Changes the whole mentality of, oh my goodness. Struck and off. I can't believe it. I was getting all happy and happy and daisy about that bad boy. So despite my eagerness, we are only level with Rangers. So my team talk was not that positive. It was more assertive. If we can hang on to this, I would gladly take it. Fodderingham boots it. Ambrose, Lazzaroni is on a yellow. Got to be careful. McGinn, Murray, Fez loses it. Here come Rangers with Herrera, Pina, Candias hustled. Georgian gets rid of it. Murray to Fez. What can he do? It's beautiful pass to Tillman, who puts it around for a corner. Ambrose Fez. He wants a goal now, does Ambrose? It's just cleared. Oh, it's in the back of the net. I took my eye off the screen for a second. It was Hanlon from a free kick. Beautiful. i got to see the replay because I did take my eye off the screen for a second. Look at that. Beautiful. That's what we're talking about. Now we have our noses in front. And if the results stayed like this, we'd be six points clear of Rangers, which would be amazing. But anyways, a lot of football left to go. And we know Rangers can score from any flipping bit of possession. Um, and here come Bruno Alves now for Rangers. Rossiter, to Jack. Oh, Hanlon. And there we go. Straight away, Herrera's like, nah, not having this. Not having this. Not, not today, boys. He gets his second. Hib straight from kickoff. Can we get a highlight or is it going to go the other way? Windus, Fez. Slips in the McGinn. Windus, get across in there. Murray's effort is just wide of the bar. And it's still 2-2. Following him, kicks out for Rangers. And here comes here come Rangers now with Jack. Candy ass over the top. And we can live and breathe. Free kick. Comes back to Murray. Can he get across in there? The body's still in the box. No. Fodderingham collects and he will boot this out. Lazzaroni. Hanlon. Back to Glover. What's he going to do? He boots it. Adam gets control of it. Fez to Windass. Adam slips in Fez. Turns and shoots. Good effort. Fodderingham's down to the ground quick enough to collect. Celtic comfortably in control against Mobile 4-0. But here come Rangers to having a halt. Blocked. Rossida, Tavana, gets a cross in there, Jack, Rossida, back to Tavana, Jack, Holt, Herrera looking for hat-trick, he gets it, he gets us in those in front, we have to go attacking now, we we'll probably have to chuck on some boys to try and uh, change this up, so Rangers have their noses in front, we've switched it up, made a couple changes, and we've gone attacking Fodderingham boots the goal kick out. Here comes Murray, McGinn, Fez, Adam. Lazzaroni now in a centre-back role. Here comes Herrera, though, for Rangers. He's got numbers with him. Candy ass over the top. And it's still 2-3. Herrera with the hat-trick. 20 minutes left. Adam, free kick. Quintongo, Dragomir, Mallorca back to Fodderingham, Ambrose, Quintongo, Dragomir, can he get across in, Fez is in there, we're back in this boys, we're back in this, let's uh, pull the brakes for a second, Quintongo, 
Ambrose, Hanlon, McGinn, Lazzaroni, Tillman, Tamari. Got, it's got bodies in there. If you could pick a cross, Fez is right at the keeper. And it's still 3 3. I say still. Oh, look at this. Beautiful play by Rangers. Jack O'Hanlon's got bodies in there, but Glover pushes it back for a corner. Holt floats it in there. It's cleared by Ambrose. Free kick. Tillman. Dragomir. Make it count, boys. Make it count. They don't make it count, but here comes McGinn to clean up. Punts in the ball. Comes to Dragomir. His shot is uh, pushed out for a corner. Tillman will take it. Ambrose's header is up and over. Last 20 odd minutes. 20? 10, 10 odd minutes. Quintongo. Can he turn? Yes, he can. I don't know who got that. Lazzaroni. 4 3 Rangers. I mean, 4 3 Hibs. 4 3 Hibs. What a game. What a game. Oh, Lenahan. Over the top. Ooh, Herrera is nearly in there for its fourth. Glover boots it out to Murray McGinn. Tillman. Fez. Dragomir has a shot. Snapshot goes behind for a corner. Can we add to it? Tillman. Quintongo. Use your head. Tillman. Murray. Quintongo. What was that? Last eight minutes to hang on. Adam. Quintongo. McGinn. Murray. Lazzaroni. Back to the keeper. Glover. Come way out of his area. Quintongo. Loses it. Here come Rangers. Over the top. Holt. His shot is well wide. Rangers, though, not giving up. Ambrose, Glover, boots it towards Murray. McGinn sets up Fez. He's got Tillman with him. He can get cross in there. It is. It's 5-3. Charlie Adam. And Hibbs are putting on a display here. Goals are plenty from all over the park. Different, num different names, which shows a great team. Teamness. Teamwork. That's the word I was looking for. Anyway, Lenahan. Oh, Hanlon. Is it over for Rangers? Jack Halliday. Candy ass is shot. It's in the back of the net, but it's a free kick for Hibbs. And we should go away with the three points here if um, if we can just keep our heads to the ground. Anyway, Fez. Murray. Adam loses it. Here comes Herrera. Holt. Got Herrera with him. Looking for his fourth and Rangers fourth. But that goes out for a goal kick. And this should be the final play of the day. Ambrose over the top. And there it is. What a game indeed. Hibs 5, Rangers 3. And that result puts us in second spot quite comfortably now with a six-point gap over Rangers. It's still not done and dusted, but it has been confirmed that we have made it to the Europa League, uh, as you can see here with that win. In the second game of this video, we will take on Hearts. Uh, since you've been gone, since the last game, which was the Rangers game, we took on Motherwell 1-1-0 one, one, and we took on Celtic at their place and lost 3-1. So the situation is this. If we win this and Rangers fail to win against Motherwell, we will be second no matter what happens in the last game of the season. Uh, however, if we win this and Rangers win this, it will go down to the last game of the season against Dundee. So my start at 11 for this match looks like this. Glover and goal, Lazzaroni, Erkstrand, Ambrose, Georgian, McGinn, McGow, Swanson, Boyle, Murray and Fez. Windas, Quintongo, Vladimir, Dragomir, Vladimir, Dragomir on the bench. Our visitors go with a 5-3-2. Let's get this match underway. So Rangers, I mean, what am I saying? Hearts managed to squeeze themselves into the top six, which meant they finished in the championship group or the championship segment of the Scottish Premier League division, but they they really don't deserve it, if all honestly, They are, uh, I think, the two top teams in that lower seg section have got more points than Hearts at this stage, and I think that's going to get worse towards the last couple of games of the season, especially right here, right now, if we can take advantage and get a three-point, uh, we'll get, get the win. That will add more concern to their uh, season, but they'll see it as a step forward because they did finish in the lower section last season. And look at the pressure we're putting on them right here, right now. Four shots thus far, two on target, but still nil nil. And they have a good effort to get themselves off the books. Lazzaroni, Swanson, McGow over the top goes out for a goal kick. Georgian with a throw, Fez, McGow. McGinn, long-range effort, makes the keeper parry it for a corner. 
And McGow will take this. Flutter's in the box. Anyone can get the head on it? No. Here come Hearts now with Isma. He can get a cross in there, but Urkshund's in there. Clears here for Swanson on a counter for Murray. Can he get a cross in for Fez? Over the top. And it's a cold, uh, free kick for Hearts. As we creep towards the 30 minute mark, Boyle dances around, gets a cross in there. McGinn, Swanson, Fez, Murray, a little back and forth, but nobody can put it in the back of the net. Hamilton boots it out. Ambrose heads it back. Here comes Murray, Lazzaroni, Swanson, McGinn, McGow, Boyle clears. Here comes Hibbs once again with Lazzaroni, Swanson, McGinn, McGow. Long range effort again, a corner. McGow will run to take this. Floats in the box, but it's poor. Erkstrom with a goal kick or a free kick. McGinn, McGow. Tries to squeeze in Fez, and that shot is tricky position. A lot of bodies around him, but he couldn't get good control of it. And here come Hibbs once again with Swanson. McGinn brings it out right to Boyle. He runs. Gets a good cross in there, but a bit of panic in the box. And Swanson's effort is tipped once again behind the post for a corner. Comes out to Murray. McGinn. Again, big effort. Not a bad shot. Hamilton down to the ground, though. And equal to it. 3-0 Rangers against Motherwell. No matter how many goals they score, they will not get above us if results stay like this. And Murray with a cracking effort. And it's tipped over once again for a corner. McGinn will float this one in. No, he doesn't. Puts out to Murray. Long-range effort goes to nothing. I think I saw Rangers were falling up. But here come Hibbs with another bit of possession. A lot of bodies in the box. And again, Hearts can breathe a sigh of relief. And here they come on the counter now. Stockton, Dijon, Isma. Can he turn and shoot? Yes, he does, but it's wide. Yes, Rangers are 4-0 in front against Marvel. Complete control. And we have ended the half 0-0. So, Hibbs got the match off in the second half underway. Boyle. Long range effort. Makes Hamilton dive. Ambrose to Swanson. McGinn. McGow, long range. To be honest with you, I don't know. I think, I think Rangers could be playing Celtic in the last game of the season, so that could work in our favour. Swanson to Georgian to Boyle. And it looks like a penalty, and Swanson will take it. Oh, big ball, Swanson. That could be the goal that uh, could keep us comfortably in second spot. Well, was it comfortably? Still only three points. Still up for grabs. A slip up against Dundee. And a win for Rangers could change it on the last day of the season. McGinn, long range effort. Puts behind for a corner. McGinn's going to go take this one. Had to clear. Murray has a snapshot. It's blocked. Swanson collects the rebound to Lazzaroni. Lazzaroni to Swanson to McGow over the top for first to chase. He dinks it in there. Lovely goal for the boy. He's been, he's been trying to get a couple more goals for his ta tally for the season. And that's one in the bank for him. That should be enough to seal the points. We've been, we've been in complete control of this match. If you just look at the points tally that Hearts have, I'll show you in a second. We can maybe punish him a little bit more. It's a corner for Hibbs. McGinn will take it. Pops it in the box. No joy. Murray will clean up. Back to Lazzaroni. But yeah, hearts are the same amount of points as 10th place Ross County. And they lie in 6th due to the uh, the breakaway pack. McGinn. McGow. Boyle. McGinn. Long range effort. Goal kick. Corner. McGow. Ambrose. Bodies. McGinn. Murray tips it behind though. Hamilton. As Hibbs look for the third, McGow, Boyle takes a ricochet. It looks like a big fat OG suitor puts in the back of the net. Hibbs three, Hearts Neil surely points in the bag now. Curry, Fivey, Curry, George and clears, Fez. And that's your lot, folks. The Edmund Derby ends. Hibbs three, Hearts nil. So that result keeps us in second spot. Three points ahead of Rangers. And I just had a little sneak peek. Rangers do, in fact, take on Celtic in the last game of the season. So... They have to come against the odds to beat the champions to claim that second spot where we take on fifth place Dundee at their place. In the last game of this video, we take on Dundee at their place with the possibility of finishing second in the Scotch Prem. Rangers take on their bitter opponents, Celtic, 
at Ibrox. So my starting eleven for this match is like this. Glover, Lazzaroni, Ekstrom, Ambrose, Georgian, McGinn, McGow, Tillman, Boyle, Murray and Fez. So our hosts come with a 4-5-1. So the match gets underway. Bain kicks it out for Dundee. Ambrose, Murray, McGow, Georgian, Ambrose, McGow, McGinn. Over the top for Murray, a chase. A draw is enough for us to get that covered second spot. Tillman, McGinn, loses it. Here comes Dundee, Huber. Got, he's on his own though, but Erkson cleans up with a good bit of tackling. McGow, Ambrose, Georgian, Boyle. Towards Fez, no joy. Huber was Haber, it's Harbour for Dundee, not Huber. Glover boots it long. Boyle, McGow, McGinn over the top. Murray shot over the top. Bain. Give him some respect today. McGow, McGinn, Murray. Big tackles coming in. Fez picks up the rebound, shots it. Bain puts it out for a corner, which McGinn will take. It's not good though, but here comes Dundee for Trasso. Gets across in the harbours in there. Not good enough. Not good enough. Dundee. 1 0 up. Ambrose. McGowan. McGinn. Tillman. Harbour. Over the top. He's on his own, though. Pulls it back. Glover clears. Here comes Hibbs, maybe. McGowan. So that result right now still, still keeps us in second spot. In fact, I thought that goal got disallowed, but. That's just wishful thinking. Vincent, Harbour, Spence, Petrasso, crosses, Harbour's shot, his little header is put behind for a goal kick. Here comes Dundee once again, Deacon, Grimshaw, Deacon, Harbour, Vincent, Spence to Petrasso, broken up them again. Murray, McGinn, McGow, Boyle, crosses it in there. Bodies in the box. And Celtic are in front. That's what we want to see. Lazzaroni, get cross in there, boys. McGinn, McGow, Lazzaroni. Punts a cross in there. McGow turns and shoots. It amounts to nothing. So both Hibbs and Rangers losing at this point. Lazzaroni, McGinn, Tillman. Murray tackled, and here come Dundee with Harbour. He's got bodies coming with him. He pulls it back. Vincent's there, tucked in a 2 0. This could get nasty. Straight from kickoff, Hibbs, Ambrose, McGow back to Glover. He'll be leaving to go back to Spurs at the end of the season. So, will Tillman Murray's in there. His shot is just parried, and Dundee clean up. Dundee look in complete control here. Do we go for it or do we just ride it out? Because I've got a feeling Celtic will do us a favour. You know, they would want to do one over on... Oh, we might not need a favour. We might not need a favour. Dundee two hips, one. Murray battles it back a little bit. Uh, makes it a little bit more interesting because if we can get that second goal in the second half, then it's in our hands. Dusty's in our hands. But we just got to make sure they don't score any more from this free kick. Petrasso gets a cross in there, loses it. Tillman back to Lazzaroni. What's he going to do? Erkstrand. <coughs> Fez. Boyle. Slow build up by Hibbs. Back to Ambrose. McGinn. Fez. Murray shot. Long range. Big build up for absolutely nothing. And we're just about to reach the half time. And there it is. Dundee 2. Hibbs 1. I give them what for. Second half gets underway. Dundee kick us off. As it stands, we remain in second spot. By two points, three points even. You know, goal at Ibrox may may make it a little bit more interesting. I know they got the capabilities, but if we get a, a goal here, a second and equaliser, then it will be back in our hands. Here come Dundee though. Want to cause an upset themselves? Slips in Vincent straight at Glover. It's now one one at Ibrox. Dorans. If they get another goal, they will claim second spot. And this will be the biggest collapse ever. Ambrose turns it in there. McGow's shot is up and over. Maybe we should just crank it up a hair and give it some. Adam. What's going on? 
you're attacking. Let's go. Glover. Bad kick out and nearly took advantage of that Dundee. Lazzaroni. Grimshaw. Grimshaw. Lazzaroni. Murray. Fez. Straight up Bane. And we are hanging on to that second spot like it means something. It does mean something. Ambrose clears that bad boy. We've got four minutes to go. Still 1-1 one, one at Ibrox. 2-1. Dembele has probably done the deal for Hibs and kept them in second spot. And that is a big, big, big result for us. Finishing second between the two Ibrox sides. There we go. We've lost on the day, but who cares? I believe... We'll get the 100% confirmation in just one second. I believe we are second. And it's official, folks. We have finished second. That means runners-up in the Scottish Premier League again. Behind Celtic. Moneybag Celtic. So it's not bad. It's, it, you know, it's a step up from last season when we finished third. Uh, so it's it's just... Oh, I'm over the moon. I'm overjoyed with it. Also, we won the Scottish League Cup. So it's been a cracking season for the lads. Get some cash. 1.92 million. So it is over. This is the team of the season. Glover, Lazzaroni, Erkstrand, Ambrose, George and McGinn, Ajara. Ajara? He wasn't even here. Uh, Adam, Windus, Fez and Murray. Yeah, I don't get that. I don't know why he was in the team of the year. Marciano, Stevenson, Tillman. Bit bizarre, that one. End of season awards. Player of the season is McGinn. Second was Fez. Third was Hannon. Goal of the season was Silvica's goal against Aberdeen. Signing of the season was Fez on a freebie. And young player of the season was John McGinn. And that is the team of the season right there. I don't I don't get that. Maybe this was... This is the overall 11, taking from uh, the first season and the second season. So a couple new additions. Charlie Adams in there. Uh, so that's pretty good. Squad dynamics looks like this right now. Hand and Murray McGinn. I don't see them going anywhere. We might lose a few of the influential players, such as Joey Barton's going to go. He's uh, Glover. Johnson's on a his contract's coming to an end. Uh, Barn may stick around. I don't know. Uh, Quintongo's on loan, so he's going to go. I think Swanson's deal comes out, uh, is, expires. Gray might also be leaving. So there's a lot of lot of people going to be leaving. Let's just have a little chat with the boys here. Okay. So not the greatest team talk, but uh, I'll talk more about that in just a second. Uh, and this is the uh, end of season summary. Uh, confidence, everyone's happy. Obviously, there's a new new board in, in place because we took got taken over uh, midway through the season or toward the back end of the season. So that's good for Hibs. Um, Preseason start dates, whatever. That's good. So here we are, uh, a bit of a roundup for the whole season. We did finish second in the Scottish Prem. We did make it to the, to, the, to the group stage of the Europa League, but we got knocked out in the first knockout round. As for the Scottish Cup, we got knocked out in the quarterfinals. They wanted us to get to the semifinals, but that uh, was a little bit unfortunate. But the big one, which uh, I'm really happy about, was the Scottish Communities League Cup, which we were expected to reach the semifinal, but we went all the way and won it. Now, this is where it's going to get a little bit sour. Uh, because this is where this series comes to an end. I'm, I may return to Hibs. Uh, I'm going to keep the save alive off camera, but I've got a really, really exciting uh, new adventure around the corner. It's called Old Bastards. That's right, Old Bastards. You heard me correct. It's where I take a, a creator club, put them in the lower leagues of English football, uh, but the whole club is made out of players over the age of 35. It might be 33, but I think I'm going to go with 35. So a lot of aging veterans. So basically trying to see if they can if they can still cut it at a professional level. Obviously starting in the lower leagues, trying to work our way up. Uh, uh, the rules are simple. I cannot sign anybody uh, under the age of 35. Uh, obviously the youth issue uh, will come into play, but that's something we'll deal with later. But it's going to be interesting. It's going to be a bit of fun. Uh, so that's going to be my predominant save. So this one, the Hibs Pride of Edinburgh has come to a close. And also the Schalke one is due to close as well. But it's been fun. I've enjoyed it. Two seasons. Uh, won a bit of silverware. And we broke up the dominance at the top two uh, of the Glasgow side. So that was that was what I was hoping to do. Obviously, I'd like to have continued on to do uh, a third season. Maybe push for the title. But hey, I can't complain. It's been fun. Very enjoyable. So if you enjoyed this video and the series, give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all things FM18 moving forward. And please, please stick around and try. Give it a shot, the old bastards, when it comes online uh, uh, pretty soon.